much of the children's meeting because I might lose my audience. <laughs> um, you know, I've been in the children's meeting and they do some fabulous things. They've got Bible stories, they've got crafts, and so feel free to bring your children. We want them to, or your grandchildren, or your neighbor's children, or your, they'd have some absolutely marvelous programs for the children. They're well supervised, you check them in, we don't let them leave until they're checked out properly, and so that'll be a real blessing for you. No meeting tomorrow night. Our next meeting is on Tuesday evening. And on Tuesday evening, I'm going to talk about one of the topics that really has brought more people into atheism than any other. If I had to name one program, one, one topic that um, leads people to become atheists, it's this. How could a loving God burn people in hell for millions and millions and millions of years? And uh, many people have a false understanding of what the Bible teaches about that subject. You see, how many of you believe that God is all-knowing? God knows everything. Do we believe that? God knows everything, okay? Um, how many of you believe that God is omnipresent, that he's present here even through his spirit? So if God is all-knowing, and if God is uh, present everywhere, if there were a hell that burned for millions and millions and millions of years, would we say that God was there in the midst of that hell and he would know about that? If he's all-knowing and he's present everywhere, it'd have to be. And how could he possibly be loving if, and how could he possibly have any joy to see people suffer? You would not want to see your worst enemy suffer, would you? No. And there are many people that have that mistaken idea about hell. And many of them say, if God is like that and he torments people, I don't want in any way to have anything to do with that type of God. Here's the incredible good news. The Bible clearly reveals that God is a God of immense love, far beyond what we could ever imagine. But not only is he God of love, he's a God so powerful that he will do away with sin forever. So Tuesday night, we're speaking about God's love and the fires of hell, what the Bible really teaches about hell. Then on Wednesday night, another message from the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 17, talks about a woman in Bible prophecy that rides upon a scarlet-colored beast and the mystery of Babylon revealed. Throughout the book of Revelation, the Bible talks about the true systems of religion and the false. And uh, it talks about how every false ideology, every false system of religion is a drift and departure from the Word of God and how every true system of religion points us back to the Word and back to Jesus. And so, Wednesday night, we're going to be talking about Revelation chapter 17. Now, a week from Wednesday night, and there's something I want you to mark on your calendar so you will not miss, and you won't forget. A week from this Wednesday night is April 25th. We have a world-class symphony orchestra and a choir coming. It's a 55-piece orchestra and choir. It, they've sung all over the world, and they're coming to Washington, D.C., and I was able to get them one night, and that is uh, April 25th. They will have a sacred concert and that will be just so inspiring, so stimulating. And so April 25 is a night you don't want to miss. We have one session because it's during the week. Now on our weekends, we have meetings at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock on Friday and Sundays. But during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we only have meetings at 7. So remember that as well as you're looking forward to it. As you look forward to tomorrow night, I will tell you, uh, you don't want to miss. Did I say tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. And nobody caught me. You didn't get me, did you? Is it, what night is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, you've got it now, Tuesday night. Um, Tuesday, you don't want to miss Mrs. Finley's cooking demonstration. She will have all kind of plant-based foods here and uh, share with you how to live longer, how to live healthier, and uh, how to add years to your life and life to your years. So you just don't want to miss that. I want to thank you for what you have been doing to help to support this series of meetings. We give out an envelope just once a week. We don't take an offering every meeting. We give an envelope out Friday night and we tell you don't put anything in it. You just take it home and pray about it. And the offerings that you give here do two things. They One, they go to help to pay for the rent of this auditorium. And secondly, they go to help to expand this worldwide ministry. Others have contributed to make this series possible. We would like to pay the rent of the auditorium. But what you give 
goes to help our ministry in Africa a week after we leave here. We go to Tanzania with a stadium that seats about 40,000 people. It will be a telecast all across Africa. Uh, then later in the year we'll be in England, later after that in Brazil. So you can sense that you have a part for something big for God, something large for God, something special for God. In fact, these meetings, every single night, you see the television cameras. Every single night, we're going to Peru, to Brazil, to Colombia, to Guatemala, to 15 or 20 countries. You know, we had a wonderful baptism in Manassas this last Amen. week. Amen. Just on, how many of you were with us on Saturday morning in Manassas? Wasn't that a wonderful baptism? Amen. Didn't you, weren't you thrilled with what you saw God do there? This week at Living Hope, we have another baptism, you know, and we had a baptism on Saturday night as well with our Spanish. You know, we don't have a meeting here on Saturday night, but I go and speak to our Spanish folk. And, uh, uh, como esta? Bien? Yes, bien. How many of you were there? Sabado, evening. Okay, look at this. There's my Spanish section right there. We love our Spanish folk, I'll tell you. We had a baptism Saturday night. We had baptisms at our Spanish churches Saturday morning. And I will tell you, God is doing so many incredible things. And so this coming Saturday morning, Sabbath morning, we'll be at Living Hope and have a baptism there. And another one Saturday night in our Spanish contingents. And so we just have seen these wonderful blessings of God. And when you make contributions, you contribute not simply to what's happening here, but to this total ministry for Christ. So our usher is going to take up an offering tonight. And um, 